Hey horror fans, thanks for joining me for this review of Jacob's Wife. Alright, uh, as usual we'll start off with the IMDb plot. Uh, cast and crew information should be down below. Uh, let's see, Anne, married to a small town minister, feels her life has been shrinking over the past 30 years. Encountering the master brings her a new sense of power and an appetite to live bolder. However, the change comes with a heavy body count. Of course it does. All right, so this one is a pretty new film here. Um, just came out um, last weekend. And um, so I'm gonna try to keep this as spoiler free as possible. Uh, but I will probably go into a little bit of detail between of the relationship between Anne and the minister here, just because it's a little bit important and hard to avoid. Um, so, I mean, I guess you can consider that a tad bit of a spoiler <clears throat> spoiler there, but uh, definitely I'll try, try to stay away, the, stay away from the ending here and what eventually happens. Um, but obviously, let's see, I guess, you know, we have to start, if, if you guys are familiar with the film, um, Obviously, it's gotten a lot of buzz because of, of Barbara Crampton is, is starring in it, and also Larry uh, Fizenden. I um, don't know if I said that right, but that's my best attempt there. Uh, but yeah, a, a lot of attention um, because of, that, uh, of them pairing up for this movie. And uh, you know, I, I you know Barbara continues to to keep sneaking her, her way into movies and, and so forth and she definitely has a fan base and definitely a fan of hers um i believe her other recent movie that she was in um sacrifice i, I think was was i should have looked it up before but uh, uh i watched that one and i don't know i i didn't quite get into that one um that one kind of had a twist there at the end which I could appreciate, but uh, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling much of the rest of the movie. Not, not really her fault, um, just the way the movie was. Uh, but unlike that one, this one, you know, she, she's a much more focused um, part of this movie. Obviously, she's the central character here. And, uh, you know, I'll just get it out of the way. She, she just, just does a fabulous job. Um, she's just very terrific in this movie, terrific with her character. Um, you know, her, her regular life is very different from the, uh, vampire that she, she eventually becomes. I don't think that's a spoiler. I think, you know, most of you kind of know, um, what's happening, especially after reading, um, the summary here. Um, she's very different, but, you know, tries to, to bond both sides of that together. And, and Barbara just does a, a terrific, um, job with that. And, uh, you know, credit them for, for creating this character as well because, you know, you know she's, she's fun at times and, and she has a... And also, you know, a big part of this, like I said, is, is the relationship between Anne and the minister. Um, obviously, um, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Fetter, I guess is the name here. Um, you know, they, they're married, so obviously their, their relationship is a very important part of, of this movie. Um basically you have Anne, you know, you see a little bit of their relationship and then you see, um, Anne kind of go off with a guy and, you know, she has a, a decision to make, you know, is, is this going to be a moment where she finds herself splitting up from her husband or cheating on her husband or does she, she kind of continue and, um, stay with him and be faithful to him and uh, it's almost in the cards that, that it's not really her choice because that's when the whole vampire um, thing comes into the fold there and kind of interrupts that, that happening and uh, so you have uh, Jacob here who's you know he's, he's very serious about his, him being a minister and um, you see that early on and, and I think you see that throughout and kind of comes to a point for him, you know, he's, he's going to eventually fi find out that, that Anne is, is strange things are happening with her. 
And first he kind of finds out that strange things are happening uh, in the small town. This is a small town that they're in. And, you know, it's one of those towns where, you know, most people know each other. And uh, so, you know, a few things kind of go wrong and he kind of gets involved and then he kind of is told that you know his wife might be at the uh, at the central point of this or a big part of this and um you know when he goes and confronts her you know obviously he has a choice here you know is he going to be more faithful to god or more faithful to his wife or are they going to try to find a way to to kind of balance this this out here and work this this problem out and I think that's the interesting take here in this movie is, you know, usually when we see a priest or a minister or just a godly figure and then you have uh, on the other side, you have something like a vampire or a demon or, or so forth, you know, they're going to split apart. They're, they're going to, you know, obviously fight and not get along and one is going to kill, try to kill the other and then vice versa. And... Um, here comes a, a, it's kind of interesting what they do with the vampire here is is that um and kind of has a little bit of even though you know there there is a master here involved and uh, i won't tell say too much about that because i'll leave that as as a spoiler um but there there is a master that's obviously how you know she becomes a vampire and um but she's kind of given a little bit of her own choice you know her own wiggle room here um to not just be controlled and not just do whatever the master wants um she, she can kind of calm down and then um she expresses that you know she still wants to be with uh, her husband so you know you kind of have that bond but obviously you know things have changed um she also wants to in a way embrace the change in her um she just doesn't want to be the housewife i mean that's basically kind of what they portray her as and that's kind of almost why she cheated because you know she's just kind of come to that point in life like you know what have i done what am i going to do next and um you know where's the excitement left in, in life here and now she has that. Um, but obviously she also has to survive. She's she's a vampire now. So, you know, she's still going to have to feed and she's still going to have to do those kind of things um, to keep going. So, again, you know, here on the other side you have the minister who has to decide, you know, how is he going to let this be? Because this is obviously goes against everything, you know, he teaches and, and what he believes. Um, so you have to have that, that balancing act there. And, and I think that's where you get the horror of the movie, some of the horror of the movie that comes out. And uh, the horror is very nice. There's some bloody moments. You get to see some good makeup on Barbara. Um, you'll see if, if you've seen some of the pictures from the movie. You haven't seen the movie yet, but you've seen some of the pictures. Maybe you've seen her with some teeth and, and maybe some shots of her... Um, with some blood on her um but there are there is some good horror there's some good blood there um that's done so if you're looking for that kind of thing here you will find it um you'll find some decent fight scenes i think nothing you know over the top um probably what you would expect to kind of go along with you know this small town setting and this kind of atmosphere that they create um and then i i think that there's a, a a point of humor in it um you know I, I think you'll you'll find yourself kind of laughing at the couple as as they maneuver their their way around what has happened to them and the situation they find themselves in um uh, you know I, I think it's kind of interesting also that in the beginning you know in the first maybe little bit you know you're going to see the minister and how well he's respected in town and maybe even at the beginning you may not like the way he kind of talks to Barbara, or Anne, I should say, um, and, 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 and maybe, you know, you're thinking, you know, maybe he's going to get it, maybe he's going to get what he deserves, you know, you're, maybe you're not going to kind of like what's happening there, but I think over the course of it, you're going to, to, you know, find his character and mixing with Anne, and together they just 
create a fun couple and, and create some fun moments within all the craziness that, that that's happening. Um, you know, there's a I won't give away the, the whole scene, but there's a really funny scene, I guess, with the I'll just say there's a little kid involved. And um, that's a pretty funny scene as it is. And um, so yeah, they, they, they do sneak in uh, a little bit of humor here and there. Um, I, th I think there's even some humor, as you just kind of see, even when maybe when Anne is not with uh, the minister, and the minister first kind of faces off with some of these, these vampires, or even there's him facing off with some, some teens early on. Um, you might get a little humor there, here and there. And um, like I said, I, I don't want to spoil the end of it, but, but it comes to a... a good conclusion here and, and I think and again that there is a little bit of humor towards the end as well in that scene in the, in the final act as you want to call it um, so yeah it, it's a good combination of horror here and, and, and sprinkling in some well timed uh, humor and just a great situation they, they, they create and um, you know just, just the acting is great between um, Barbara and, and Larry, um, they just, just seem to, to come together really well, and um, just, just they, they, I don't know, they, they just seem very, very cool and, and good with what they're doing here, and um, yeah, and, and I'm, you know, you know, I kind of debated whether to do a video review of this or a written review, and, and this is one that I didn't, I didn't quite get a chance to catch early. I, I really wish I would have. Um, but I just kind of decided to do this. But uh, I really, really liked this film. Um, I was really, you know, I was debating whether to see it or not. And then I kind of, you know, kept seeing people talk about it. I kept seeing posts on Twitter. And then I'm like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll um, fork it over and, and, and watch this one. So I'm really glad I did. Um, it, it was just it was just a lot of fun. Uh, it was a good good watch, and like I said, it it has a little bit of everything. And I think you're gonna get into these these two characters here and enjoy when they're together. Enjoy the, the parts where they're separated. Um, and there's some um, good images that are created as well. And I think if you look around the internet, you can see kind of some of that kind of captured in some of the pictures that they have released or people have released um, as well. So. Um, solid, solid effort. I, I really, really like this one. I'm gonna give it four pools of blood. Um, that that might be a rarity here for for the video reviews. I might not give as many the the, the higher marks to to some of the video um, reviews and, and maybe some more of the written reviews. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give this one a solid, solid four pools of blood. Um, you know, I, I may rewatch re it at, at some point. Um, I liked it so much, and, and if I, I watch it, you know, there's always a chance I could um, think of it higher, but I, I think I'm going to go with Four Pools of Blood for now, and um, we'll see, maybe by before the end of the year, I'll, I'll give it a rewatch there, um, but I, I think it's definitely landed up towards the top of my films for, for 2021, but, you know, it's still early, we're only a couple of months into the year here. Um, so we still have plenty of time for, for other movies um, for you who's watching that if you're curious since I just mentioned that uh, Psycho Gorman still remains my number one so far uh, and we have that that um, I have that review on, on the site so that, that one is a written review so you can find that and you can find that at horosgorreviews.blogspot.com um, that information is down below along with Twitter and Facebook and um you can talk about this movie, other movies, whatever you want with me there. I'm always willing to talk horror. And, um, yeah, comment on this video if, if you've seen this movie, if you liked it, didn't like it. Um, hopefully, I don't think I spoiled too much for you. Maybe gave you a little bit of information um, and so forth. But, um, yeah, I, I think that that's going to be about it. That's just a, a solid, solid vampire movie here. And uh, I hope everybody go out, goes out and uh, catches that. I, I don't know if people are going back in theaters yet. I, this is this is one I think I would have liked to see in theater. I, I don't think it would have been it was absolutely necessary to see in theaters. Um, I would have, you know, 
like to see Godzilla versus Kong in theaters. That would have been nice, but you know, one day we'll get back to the theaters. But um, yeah, th this one was fun regardless. So with that, I guess I will catch you on the next review, horror fans.